Is there a proper way to shop online for clothes? Well, it sounds easy enough. You know, you just find what you like, add it to your cart, and that's it. Wrong. Ask yourself these questions. Are there pieces in your wardrobe that you have never worn? They probably still have the price tag on there. Maybe you did wear them, probably like once or twice, and you completely forgot about them. Or, in my opinion, the worst one of all, you bought something that was very expensive, and later find out that people have pretty much the same exact piece, but paid half the amount that you did. If you answered yes to any of those, chances are you're shopping online wrong. So today I'm going to show you the proper ways to shop online for clothes to make Make sure that none of these things happen again so in my opinion the first way to shop online for clothes you have to prepare you finally have to get a hold of yourself stop impulse purchasing trust me i've been there you see a piece that looks very nice and without hesitation you buy it no matter the amount no matter the price tag you don't even stop to think if any of these can go into your wardrobe so you gotta plan things out think about things that you need in your wardrobe first i say need not want we'll get to that later so think about the essentials that you're missing out on there's plenty of videos out there for men's essentials i honestly made a few of them so check that out later. Start looking around for things that you need in your wardrobe. Quick examples, pair of slim black jeans, not skinny fit, not too baggy, but slim. Neutral color t-shirts, like white, gray, black. T-shirts that can go with literally anything. You need a good jacket, you need good hoodies. Shoes that will literally go with everything. Like I said, the list just goes on and on. That's a completely different video that we'll get into later. But start writing these things down. Now, if you have most of these things, maybe you want something else besides the essentials. Here's where it starts to get a little bit more fun. So what we can do, we can go on our computer. We can go on places like Pinterest, Instagram, even YouTube, and find pieces that you don't have that you think will look really good on you. So start looking for some style inspiration for this example let's just go on pinterest now i've said it once and i'll say it again a guy using pinterest is not weird grow up no it's not just for moms or teenage girls you guys can find a lot of cool things on pinterest and i'm going to show you exactly that so here on pinterest let's search something up now you can go depending on the season so right now we're in the winter but in a few months it's going to be over so in my opinion it's a little too late to be buying winter clothes so let's do something like spring outfits now look i will say a lot of these pictures I saw it back in like 2017. So some of these are a little outdated, but this one's pretty cool in my opinion. This one down here is really cool. I could definitely see myself wearing something like this. Just cargo pants, hoodies. They are pretty simple outfits. So this stuff is definitely not that hard to find. This one is really cool as well. So you could probably write down on your notes something like brown cargo pants. And if you really want, you could write down the entire outfit. So for example, this one right here, off-white pants with a forest green hoodie and some green shoes. That outfit will already go with something that I have in my wardrobe. So I could already picture myself wearing that. I already have some forest green tops. So if I write down something like off-white pants, the color, not the brand, I could wear it with something like this. Now, if you already have some that you look up to in men's fashion that doesn't even necessarily have to be a men's fashion influencer but it's a public figure that you like how they dress you can go on their social medias and take notes of what they like so this guy is a fashion influencer daniel simmons so let's just scroll through and take notes of what we like black quarter zip now what i like is he has some simple pieces now when you're scrolling through you want to make sure that you're going to be wearing these pieces right even though you like how they look you still have to ask yourself will i wear this myself so like i said i really like the way he dresses but some of these things i personally wouldn't wear now this is a very simple outfit personally i would wear different shoes so let's look at something different i've always wanted to experiment with something like this i have no idea what to call this type of sweater but i have seen it around so i could definitely make note that i want a piece like that and i kind of have an idea of where i could find it so if we go into the mobile app of asos you could upload a picture scan it and it'll show you similar results so if i do that with this picture from daniel simmons i instantly find a sweater that looks exactly like that just in a different shade but this is a great way to shop online now it could also be a celebrity that you like for example tom holland a lot of people talk about how tom holland has a good style so let's go ahead and look through his instagram see if we like anything for ourselves so i know he does work with prada a lot so I'm gonna be looking at pieces that aren't prada because that is a little over my budget so i have seen his outfits before and i know he wears a lot of trucker jackets whether it's a leather like this one this one looks more of a suede one or one like this i think this one looks really nice as well i honestly don't know what to call this kind of jacket but it does look pretty cool i could definitely go on doing this for a long time but i have three things that i took note of brown cargoes white sweater trucker jackets i also put black hoodie in there even though i already have a few myself i personally go to stores that i trust because i like the quality they're very credible i've shopped with them before and since i personally liked it i continue to shop with them so there's a few places places like asos h&m is a good option if you're on a budget zara definitely a good option my favorite brand will probably be ralph lauren but that is a little bit pricey but let's go on to a place that i feel like a lot of people shop at and has pretty much anything that you could look for and that is going to be asos all right now that we're here on asos now we can search up the things that we know we already want so one mistake that i used to do in the past i'll blindly look through shopping websites and find something that i like so now that i have a list of an idea of things that i want beforehand it makes it a lot simpler and i will have a lower chance of making impulse purchases that i won't end up wearing so here let's search up something like brown cargos now if you're on a budget 
a lot of these things can be a little bit expensive for example 75 dollars for a pair of pants we could probably find better so we could do sort and then we can go low to high that way you can ensure that you're finding the more affordable option these actually look cool in my opinion ones like these are kind of popular not really my style this one actually looks pretty good but if we're meeting in the middle and looking at affordable i think these were the best options now you don't have to stay in the same store you could always check out other places so that would probably be the next tip you don't have to shop at one spot you pick up things in different stores now i've heard really good things about cargo pants from zara this one is actually really cool we're talking about beige pants this is definitely a good option so i'd be a us size 32 these honestly do look really good I can see myself wearing it. The price isn't too bad. $60 is a lot, but it's definitely not the worst one out there. Another place we could check out would be Uniqlo. If you notice, I'm going around to different popular websites, which will probably be the next tip on how to properly shop online is know the stores that you like already. So all the stores that I've been looking at right now, I've shopped at them before. I really did like them. So chances are, if I buy another piece from them, I would like the piece that I'm already looking for. The thing that I'm looking at in the pictures, they have a good reputation. So chances are the pieces that I'm looking at will be the pieces that I'm getting in the mail. Yes, there are some stores out there that take pictures from other spots and then they send you something that looks completely different so when i was looking at for example daniel simmons i saw that he had a black quarter zip here is a black quarter zip that i could pick up for myself sorry never mind this is a navy very close to black but yeah this would be a cool option as well i also see him wear a lot of turtlenecks and here is one from uniqlo that would be a good option as well the next store i recommend checking out would probably be places like abercrombie so abercrombie is very popular right now these shirts look really good for the spring when the time comes probably gonna be looking at places like this this one looks really good it's a half zip polo there's a lot of these pieces that i I would personally would wear i really like this one a piece like this i could see myself wearing i know abercrombie is a really good spot to check out the quality is really good now look 70 dollars may seem like a lot but one thing that you could always do is look at the sales that are going on so right now 20 percent off three items or if i get two items it'd be 15 percent off so right there you can save a little bit of money you could also use an extension like karma karma honey things like that they scan online for coupons so you could probably save some money like that now hopefully this did help you out i've been there i've made the mistakes i've wasted money on clothes that i never ended up wearing so hopefully these things will help you avoid all that one thing that i kept talking about in this video is you need to find the best places to shop online for clothes so if you need help with that here's a video that i made specifically for that but other than that i hope you have a great rest of your day and i'll see you in the next video later